So you've removed your old carpets and it's now time to remove all the leftover staples. This is not how to do it, but we will show you how up next on The Handy Guys. All right, Brian. So a lot of people have older homes or even newer homes with older carpets. They remove the carpets. Yep. They want to put in new carpets. They remove the carpets. It's a fairly or big project. Or maybe putting in wood floors, something oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, sure, something like or that. Or in my old house, I actually had wood floors underneath carpet and pad with a million staples in it. Right, so exactly. You remove the carpet, that's, that's the easy job sometimes. You get the pads pulled out, pulled up, and you're left with staples in your floor that you want to remove before uh, you put in, like you said, maybe you want to refinish the hardwood floors underneath. Yep. Um, or put in more flooring. You don't want all of these bumps down there before right, you put the new right. flooring. So the question is, how do you do it? And the first thing, the first tool people usually grab is a little screwdriver and you're trying to dig right. under it or some get... pliers like that. But if you have thousands of staples, and I did in my old home that I wanted to refinish the original pine floors underneath, yeah. it was going to take me a week to do that. Right, right, right. The flooring guys that came in to refinish part of the floor while I was still working on it said, you have the wrong tool. What you need are these. These are diagonal pliers. The reason these tool, this tool is so good is because they can just grab these staples and they can dig in if necessary, if the staple has penetrated the wood, but they will just grab it and pull it right up. And even if they leave a little piece left, they will grab that very well and quickly. And if you don't squeeze too hard, you can get, get well, we got a, our false floor here, so not, not agree, but you can get to the point where you can quickly just go to every staple and pull it out very fast. All and right. move quickly. Well, let's so see we'll how try fast it. it is. We both got little samples here, and uh, go ahead and we'll pull this car uh, this carpet pad up. All right, are we gonna have I'll a little race or? Yeah, I'll try to use the uh, the, the pliers <laughs> you, you... and whatever else I okay. got here, and you use these. And I'll we'll use the diagonal. Let's we'll, go. Let's we'll see what see happens. Who so first. you pull it up. You end up with all your staples, and of course we're up a little higher than when you're working standing up. You would be leaning down over, and. Um, it's a lot easier because you can get some pressure down from above. But there we go. Pull that out. Pull that out. Quickly. Done. And let's see. These are in here pretty good, Brian. Yeah, I know. I hammered so, them in just to make it uh, a little more challenging for you. So the, the great thing about this tool is even if you do break it, you can grab what's left rather quickly. And so I'm done, I believe. Oh, there's a little piece there. I forgot you put these middle ones. Ah, you got some extra ones in here, Brian. <laughs> All right. So How are you doing over there? You got about twice as many. You um, got them about twice as fast as I did. Yeah. So you're done. I still done. have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One so there. you got, in that amount of time, you got twice as many done as I did. Yeah. So it's the diagonal pliers. You want to pull out carpet. You want to preserve the subfloor because it's in the in prop, probably not uh, plywood like this, but maybe you have some original oak or yeah, pine sure. or something like that you want to refinish. This is the tool. Get all those uh, quickly, hopefully, staples out. Take some practice, work at it, and you'll get the job done a lot faster. Yep. Very good tip. Thanks for watching the Handy Guys. Thanks. See ya.